Identifying squash plants by leaves is easy if you know how the leaves look like, but if you don't, watch this video to get some info. Squash is the collective name that stands for several species of plant in the Cucurbita genus that includes the C. muscata, C. maxima, C. mixta, and C. pipo. These are all widely grown for their renowned fruit loved worldwide. They originate from North and Central America and are named according to their cultivar name. For example, butternut squash, acorn squash, spaghetti squash, zucchini, buttercup squash, and banana squash. Squash are herbaceous plants that are either trailing vines or bush-like morphology. The vines have large lobe leaves and long vines that can climb by attaching themselves to surfaces with their tendrils. The bushes take up less space than the trailing vines and have prickly leaves. Squash plants produce orange or yellow flowers and green, yellow, or white fruit in a variety of shapes and sizes with ridged or smooth skin. Vining squash is an annual that survive only one growing season growing up to several meters in length. Characteristics of squash leaves Most gardeners can identify a squash plant by its leaves, but if you can't we are here to help. Did you know all squash plant leaves look similar with the same characteristics? Taxonomists have classified the leaves of squash in three different ways. They include Squash leaves have an alternate leaf arrangement on stems. They are extipulate. These leaves have simple palmately compound shapes or are palmately lobed. How to do a squash leaf identification? Maxima. Its leaves are plain and smooth. The flowers are smallish and rounded. The stem is cork-like and round. Its mature fruits are orange, green, or peach while immature ones may be yellow. The fruit grows up to thousands of pounds. It is round, blocky, or elongated. The fruit is no necked squash. It has large to extra-large seeds. Miscata. It has smooth leaves often mottled. Have rounded flowers. Its stem has five sides and is flared where it connects with squash. The ripe fruit of this type is tan. Immature flowers are light green, dark green, or buff. The fruit grows up to 30 pounds. The fruit shape is elongated, blocky, or necked. It has small to medium seeds, often with a dark margin. Hippo, oaxican. It has deeply indented leaves that are sharply toothed. The leaves are has flowers with fat star shape. Its stem is five-sided, star-like, and very angular. The fruits are green, yellow, orange, buff, or white. They weigh up to 30 pounds. The fruit is round, elongated, or blocky. The seeds are flat and large. Pipo Atlantic. The leaves of this Pipo Atlantic and the Oaxican are the same. Both species have a wide range of leaf shapes. They can either be spiky like the zucchini with more rounded features. Fruits are green, white, and yellow. They weigh about 5 pounds. The fruit is elongated, blocky, round, or necked. It has small seeds. Mixta. It has a jagged leaf margin and is sometimes deeply lobed or heavily mottled. The flowers are star-shaped with petals rolled up. The stem is cork-like. Its fruits are yellow, orange, white, and green. The fruits are necked and roundish. They weigh 15 pounds. The seeds are large with the skin often cracked. What else do squash leaves tell the gardener? Identifying squash plants by leaves is the first step to knowing what plant you have in your garden. However, it also helps you know the condition of your plant. Squash leaves can help you know the health status of the plant. Squash leaves can tell when the plant is not doing too well. These leaves are like thermometers alerting the gardener to potential health issues. Discolored leaves are an indicator to watch out for because it depicts stress. The temperature. Squash leaf edges will turn olive green to brown with sudden temperature drops. This occurs if the temperature goes below 50 degrees Fahrenheit or the soil temperature is lower than 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Diseases and Pests Powdery Mildew To notice this mildew you will need to look at the old leaves of a squash plant. When you notice, yellow spots know that powdery mildew has formed. Besides the yellow spots, 
you will see a white to gray powder that you can see and feel on the leaves. If you don't treat it, it can kill your plants. Downy mildew. Affected leaves will develop pale green to yellow spots on the upper side. The leaves will also turn brown and purple on the underside if they are in an environment of high humidity. Squash bugs. Bugs are a common pest to attack squash plants. The dark brown adult and the smaller gray nymphs cause yellowing and wilting of squash leaves. Squash vine borer. The squash vine borer is the most dreaded pest on the squash plant. It feeds on the plant and causes yellowing and wilting of the leaves. Bacterial wilt. The bacterial wilt causes the leaves to appear dull green and wilt all day but recover at night. Soon after the leaves will die. Spider mites. The 1 50th inch long pest is terrible when it gets to squash plants. It makes the leaves appear pale and stippled. If heaving infested, the leaves can be the webbed underside. Viruses. Mosaic viruses are common and irregular blotchy to wavy mosaic patterns on the leaves causing shades of yellow or green on squash leaves. The leaves end up distorted, curled, and wrinkled. Aphids. Aphids are the dreaded pests on your squash because they multiply fast and affect the plants very fast. These tiny soft-bodied cause leaves turn yellow and wilt. These can transmit viruses as well as devastate the plant further. Now that we have learned an easier way to help in identifying squash plants by leaves, flowers, and fruits we can go ahead and grow them. To prevent your plant from pests and diseases as we have seen above, keep your squash healthy through proper feeding watering, and growing at the right spot in your garden. Then you will reap a good harvest and enjoy your squash with your loved ones. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.